everyone, how are you? And welcome to the Revamp Tip Tuesdays. Um, now I intend to do these both written and as a video for the YouTube channel and I'll be putting them up on Facebook and everything. Today I am crazy busy, so, so, so flat out that I really don't have a chance to um, type these as well. Um, and I have got like so many tips, so many tips, so many tips. So all the tips that you've previously, see, uh, previously seen will be redone as well. And I'm going to do them in an order as I used to do my original Tip Tuesdays, um, as they come up, as they come up in my listings, as they come up in my daily life. So this week what came up and I really, really noticed was the tip, the more you give, the more you get. Or the more you give, the more you receive. Now what I mean by that is with my properties, I give a lot. You know, you all know my under $2 rule. Salt, pepper, cooking spray, the little things, tissues, you know, some um, laundry powder, things like that. You know, little things like that guests really, really, really appreciate. And the more you give guests, they will replace them. They will replace your elf or they will replace the glad wrap. So rarely do I have to buy Ziplocs or anything for my property because the guests will leave them. If they use the last of it, they generally will give it to you because they feel so grateful that they haven't had to buy salt, pepper, cooking spray, um, L-foil. They've had little plastic containers to use. So the more you give, the more you will get back. I've got guests that love our properties so much and it's not that I haven't had things, but I've got one particular guy and he's visited at least four or five times now. You know, he bought me these beautiful pasta bowls because he loved pasta bowls. He loves to eat out of proper pasta bowls, not just my regular bowls and plates that I had. And every time I see them there, I think of him. You know, he's left those for me. I had some, some guests that loved fine china for their tea. They left me these beautiful fine china teacups. I mean, I have plenty of cups and coffee mugs, but they liked those, so they left those for me. And on the other hand, I've had, um, like I had a guest this weekend, which is why this tip came up. She left me toilet paper. Um, she must have come with it. She's not used to hosts like myself that leave lots of things. So she left me the toilet paper she bought. She bought a bag, a satchel sort of thing of um, laundry powder. She left that. She left all sorts of things in the property because I'd already given her so much. So that works in reverse. I recently stayed with friends, well I stayed in, a, uh, in an Airbnb in Perth um, quite a while ago when I first started this um, short term rental journey and he had nothing, nothing. You know, I had to go and buy, you know, he had no salt and pepper except what guests had left there from McDonald's. Um, no cooking spray, barely enough coffee for our stay. We had to buy coffee. There were so many things we had to buy. So I couldn't leave them there. It was actually annoying me that I had to buy all these small things. So paper towel even I had to buy. So I took them with me and I gave them to my friends that live in Perth. And recently I stayed um, down on the Gold Coast with some beautiful friends who are probably watching this. Hello, do we recognize this 